Alrighty guys, well it's not raining too much. There's the Big Bertha. We're going to call a Big Bertha for the trip. No, not you, not my lovely wife. <laughs> We're talking about the camper. Well, how's it team? Yes, and we are off on an adventure. This video is a fairly long one guys, so go and make a cuppa. Uh, sit down for a while and enjoy it. Uh, it takes in quite a few stops. So if you're a newbie, welcome along. Thanks for joining us. If you're an old hat coming back, thank you so much. Also guys, if you want to uh, support me anymore, don't forget to cruise on over to my Patreon page. Okay guys, so this trip we go from Christchurch all the way up through Reefton, have a stop there, to Punakaiki. We go from Punakaiki all the way down through Greymouth to Hokitika or Goldsboro. From Goldsboro we then head through to Franz Joseph Glacier. Franz Joseph through all the way through Haast and down to Makarora. Makarora to Wanaka for a stop for lunch, then all the way down to Cromwell. From Cromwell we head back up through Tekapo and end up stopping in Fairley. And from Fairley we end our trip by coming back to Christchurch. Big trip, big video, enjoy. team and welcome to Crispy's Kiwi Adventures. Whoa, look at that for a rugged coastline, my goodness. So we are on a road trip. Yeah, got the whole fan family in the uh, camper and we are cruising down the west coast. So yesterday we made um, the big trip. Uh, we came from Christchurch, we went right through to Reefton. Uh, stopped in Reefton for lunch, then came through from Reefton, through, up through the Nangahua, uh, through Hawke's Craig, which is pretty impressive, and through here, past Westport, down to Punakaiki, which is where we are right now, uh, at the um, Pancake Rocks, which are out along here. So we're gonna go and see those soon. Uh, we'll spin the camera around, cause just in the uh, trees here, we've got the camper, we'll go and have a look at that. And um, yeah, so we're basically, we are, we've got another five days of traveling. We're going down the west coast. We're gonna go through, we're gonna go do Shantytown. We're gonna go to Gold's Bar and have we play there and try and get some gold. <laughs> we're going to the treetop canopy walk um, up to the back of the um, Hokitika Gorge, which is meant to be absolutely beautiful. Um, we're also going down to Haast, uh, Franz Joe. Oh, we're going. Sorry, no, we're going to Franz Joseph first. We're going to have a look at the glaciers down there, and that's where we're staying. We're going to stop over there. It's meant to be some hot pools, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, cruising then down to Haast, and then from Haast, that's the end of our west coast part of the trip. And then we cut back through the middle, through Wanaka, um, and then through to Cromwell. Uh, gonna stay at Cromwell and then back up through the middle to Tekapo with our last night being in Fairley I think and then from Fairley we're back home so we've got a bit of traveling ahead of us um, it's gonna be fun the weather's not meant to be that flash so hopefully I'm able to get a, a good amount of uh, video <laughs> I've got my GoPros and stuff so yeah we'll be sweet right just gonna have a look at this camper. We've got a big six berth Maui. Woo, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, stunning sunset last night. You will have already seen that. That's the uh, intro. But here she goes. Oh, and this is uh, mum and dad have joined us too. So this is mum and dad's camper. So they own that. 
and they've jo they're joining us on this trip so that you'll see them quite a bit and they also have a channel and i'll leave the de description in the link uh the, the description in the link the link in the description and they are motor boomers <laughs> so yeah so that's their their cool wagon might do a walkthrough on that later on and then this is our big big, big beast that we have affectionately named Big Bertha. So we set the awning up last night, it was pouring down and we just needed somewhere to uh, actually come in out of the rain. But she's a full six berth. Let's go inside and we'll have a wee look. We've got all three kids sleeping up in that top part and they can stay all made up for the entire trip which is quite cool. Um, cabs all in there, close that off, table, one of the mongrels, so that table will stay set up, heaps of storage. Beautiful hostess. With the mostess. With the mostess. Coffee. Yes, please. So as you can see, stacks of storage. We TV, although it doesn't get um, channels. Cooktop. All the necessaries. It's got a wee grill underneath. Microwave that we can only use on power. Yes. God. There's another man in your bed. There's another man in my bed. <laughs> there is two. There's the big mongrel. He's in our bed. Can I squeeze past? No. Ow. No. Ow. So, full on bathroom, shower, and the old pooper. So that's pretty cool. And then, this is a full lounge system, or full lounger. And we can put a table on it, but we're going to make it our permanent bed. And look at the view straight out the back window. Lovely. Maybe a better view there. <laughs> Alrighty, we're about to have breakfast. And then we're going to hit the road and go and check out the Punakaiki Rocks. Hey, boy. Mm. <laughs> All the mongrels. <laughs> Are we having fun so far? No. <laughs> Hello.
This is night number two. And we are staying at Goldsboro. We're actually at the Goldsboro um, public fossil can claim. So it's been pretty cool. I've been down at the River Ree. Some pretty cool relics. Look at that. Old sluice gun. So, yeah. They're cooking up a feed. So what's on the menu tonight? Wow! We've got all kinds of goodies, haven't we? Gosh, um, I don't think they're bad because you're going to be big, big enough. <laughs> big flavoured sausages. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. We've got mini, how is mini burgers? Oh goodness, look at that. Yeah. Six. Bargain, three for twenty. We've got enough dollars. meat to feed a small army and a yeah. tiny wee barbecue to cook it all on. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so we've got quite a cool wee setup here. We've got the awning out, so if it rains, we'll yeah. be undercover. Mean. I'm set. Yeah. We have a world famous chef doing the cooking too, of course. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Chef M, uh, chef and babysitter. <laughs> 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 Been looking after our kids as well. <laughs> That's the easy bit. True. They're not too bad, are they? No, it's not Look at that, you start cooking and the locals come down. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. It's a neat little uh, shelter. And it's got a bit of info and bits and pieces on it about Goldsboro. But in here, it's just about like a little museum. There's old picks and spade heads, old axe, bits of bottles, old bits of workings. That is wicked. Broken bottles. I don't think that lift can's very old, but <laughs> look at that. Some old timers. Spade. There goes a bit about the actual rush itself. Oh, there's been quite a few relics found. I'm guessing these have all been found by various fossickers and miners. And whether it's all come out of the bush or oh, look at that old shoe, horseshoe. Wicked. Very cool. Oh, big old rim seal bottle and a champion's vinegar up there. Some cool looking stuff. Awesome. It's definitely got some age. Some old china as well. How cool. The family is madly okay, panning you away. Me? Yeah, I'll help you. Peyton's little lot of gold. Oh, I saw it. Nice finds. Yeah. Lucky you. Peyton. Hunter's doing his now. Yep, you just keep keep shaking it side to side. Yeah. So just like that? Yeah. Okay, and then you tip that water out. All of it. Yeah, and then you dip the edge in and push it away. Yeah. Okay, so you dip it in. So you get it like that. Just let go. 
take it up like that, then you tip it all out, and then what you're doing is you're trying to just get that, you're getting those, like that. Okay, so now you shake it up a bit more. You got your lot having anything? And you're shaking it all up. Nice little, little line of gold and Rex's little line of gold. Ooh, good job, guys. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Hunter has just got the mother load. Probably got more than you got yesterday. He probably just about did get more than me yesterday. So he's got a couple of decent flakes there, which is pretty cool. Awesome. Good job, guys. So everybody got some gold. Woohoo! And you pop it. You still got yours in there? Gold's gold, mate. Well, it has to be the real thing because otherwise it wouldn't be still there. Yeah, it's gold. gold. The sand. Do you want me to get yours all sorted? Good job, mate. I wonder how much else can I be able to I oh, know. I hear my element running. Uh, the only thing is, I'd be giving gold away. I don't think I could handle that. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, she needs it. There you go, see if you can lift that, mate. Oh. You hurt yourself. So you'd be shackled to that. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to shackle myself to it and see if I'd be able to run away. Oh. Brett, Hunter, are you going in there? I'm just going to have a chance. I've got five. Oh, okay. I'm more worried about. Oh, Yeah, push it, push it through so you can't get it out. Yeah, now close it up. And leave him in there. No, 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 no. Yeah. See ya. See ya, bro. Have a good life. Actually, we need some, we need some rotten fruit <laughs> and vegetables. Right, squeeze one out. <laughs> Squeeze one out, Brax. Squeeze him. <laughs> yeah, come on. Squeeze one out. Squeeze it out. I'm going to go purple. You're a clown, Ethan. <laughs> Absolute clown. Eating time at the zoo. What? Just 
Been to Shandy Town. What do you guys think? It looks so good. You like it? Yeah. Yep. Ooh. And we also got lots of candy. Lots of candy. And you got lots of gold. Mm. Yeah, cool. So up at the Hokitika Gorge. Mad props to the uh, dock and whoever else did the tracks up here in the facilities. They are impressive and it is well worth the look. We've got it on a good old uh, moody west coast rainy day, but the views are still spectacular. Always one. You're okay, mate. This place is stunning. Whoa. We are in Franz Joseph. We got a couple of sites right beside each other. This place is actually huge. Um, hang on, I will find out from Vanessa. Just look at this. Heaps of room in these sites. What was the name of this place? Rainforest Retreat. Rainforest Retreat, guys, in Franz Joseph. It is stunning. Quite, quite reasonably priced. My missus wants to stay here longer. But wow, this place is epic. So guys, if you are on the west coast, you want somewhere to stay, you've either got a, there's plenty of cabins, there's houses on site by the looks of it, and huge room for the campers. So yeah, what was it again, him? Huh? Rainforest, Rainforest retreat. There you go, people. Hey, forty-six Cron Street. Absolute epic, guys. I mean, look at that view. Flip me days. Yeah, I don't know about that view, but Crikey. right. I'm gonna put my good duds on because we are going out for dinner. <laughs> Bunch of sleepy heads. <laughs>
<laughs> All righty, so we're off up to have a look at the glacier. Up to Franz Joseph Glacier. Yeah, Out to the road. To here. Yeah, oh, to here, yeah. to this point here. This point here. Yeah. yeah. Amazing how much it's receded, hasn't it? Oh. Yeah. Uh. Well, there, here we are, here now, since it was all. Oh. See so where was it? So it was, was down to here. It was down to here in 1867. A 1867. 18 1867. Glacier was down to here, and now you got to walk. But you're not allowed another, to walk now. Another 10 that's minutes up there. That's as far as we get. Oh, that's as far as you can get. Yep. That's all been closed off now. Was the glacier walk, but I think. Crikey. Not safe anymore. No, I just had a load up for you. <laughs> Lake Paringa, not far from Haast. It's a wee way away from Haast, I think. Typical West Coast weather. A weirdo standing there with an umbrella. <laughs> and parked up for a bit of lunch. Magic little spot. It's about paddleboard on that lake, eh, hey, Ethan? Be a bit cold, though. <laughs> Alrighty, just past Haast, pulled over onto the side of the road, and here we look at the Fantail Falls. How pretty are those? Typical West Coast weather. Pouring down, we're all drowned rats. <laughs> Check those out, aren't they pretty? Look at that rain. <laughs> oh, well, after that disappointing little trip up to the uh, blue lakes that were green, the blue pools that were green, we've uh, Pop down here to now what is it we are at wonderland camping ground facilities in makiora or makaroa whatever way you want to put that so we're parked up but check this out Whoa. so there's actually um cabins all over the place it's quite a big area um cabins and bits and pieces a-frames all tucked away into the bush but whoa, check this out this is way too flash and no, way too flash for us. So we've got full kitchen, the whole lot over here. This is a cool wee crib. So we're just gonna chill out in here, out of the rain. We might even cook up our dinner later on over there. Boys are loving it. Free Wi-Fi here, so they're on their 
on their uh, tech. And what have you just done, Peyton? Put my tooth out. Yeah, Peyton's just lost another tooth. <laughs> have to call it gummy soon or toothless. <laughs> <laughs> so, and as for you, sending us off down to the blue pools that weren't <laughs> blue. That weren't blue. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So we're here for tonight. And then off to... We haven't actually really decided what we're going to do tomorrow. We might go to Arrowtown, we might go to Cromwell. We might even go to the moon. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> for heating time at the zoo. At the cool kids table. But yeah, don't eat the dog. Grandma's at the cool kids table. Cool kids table. <laughs> <laughs> All right, absolutely stunning morning this morning in Makaroa, or Makora, Makarora, however you want to pronounce it, but check that out guys. All dusting of snow up and up above us. And behind us there. So yeah. She also got a bit gnarly last night. It's down quite low. A gorgeous little spot this. Good facilities. Fully recommend it. blue sky this morning. That's a rarity. <laughs> oh, that's magic. Look at that. So we're going through as far as Cromwell today. And we actually have heard that Tikapo is completely dusted in snow. Got a oh, three or four inches, I think. So, yeah. Yeah, okay guys, this is where we were last night. This I oh, just mint. That's brilliant. We we're feed up a mare. It was lovely. Crashed out there. It was good 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 chance to spread out a little bit. Rather than being confined to this big bertha of a uh, camper. Morning Papa! Even my pa slept in this morning. <laughs> Right, I guess we'll see you in Wanaka. Chip buddy sandwiches down on Lake Wanaka. Just wee little bits pop up. Bit cute, isn't that? I reckon that, that one would just about eat out of your hand. Oh, folks, check this out. We are in Cromwell now. So, second to last day of our trip. And we've had the pleasure to catch up with some mates. Check out this crib. This is stunning. Just out of Cromwell, we're parked up the back there, like an outdoor plug. Some little cabins up the back there, all in the forestry. Look at those sort of views. Whew. Can't quite see through the trees, but my goodness. Nice dusting. So the kids have been able to catch up with some friends with their little mates, so they're all stoked. Check out that for a view. Magic. So we're off down to Tekapo and Fairley today. And um, yeah, stay a night in Fairley. And then from Fairley, she's back home. 
It'll be all over. <laughs> giant fruit of Cromwell here for a mandatory family photo <laughs> all righty I'll count down three two one go oh breakfast about went back up the hill <laughs> sure right let's go meet up with grandma and granddad Go to Tikapo. But what about ice cream? I don't know, what about ice creams? Check that out guys, up the top of the Limbus. Limbus Pass. Had a jolly good dusting up here. That's impressive. Just push both buttons at the same time. Right in. Here's a monument that is uh, close to my heart. It's a centenary monument for the liberation of the first red deer in Otago in March 1871. That's pretty cool. And I'm getting snowballs thrown at me. So I think I'm going to have to retaliate. <laughs> right. War now. <laughs> See that matrix? Oh, this one's yellow. <laughs> Fairly Bakery Venison and Cranberry Sauce Pie. Apparently yesterday there was snow on the ground here. Today is such a nice day that it is all cool. <laughs> Except for what's uh, up high. Cool. So just a lunch, quick lunch stop here and then off to Fairly for the evening. What an absolutely stunning morning this morning. So we've gotten here yesterday, so we're at the Fairly Rugby Grounds. They have a small little allocated spot here in their car park that's for freedom camping. Uh, pretty strict times and you're not allowed here during the weekends, it's only during the week. So, but it's free, so we were able to park up here. Nice frosty, still beautiful morning this morning. Absolutely stunning. Snow in the mountains at the back there. <laughs> Lovely. And for all you thinking, oh, look at that park. Yes, I did have a wee swing on here last night. Um, just a small one. Uh, not exactly a huge amount out here. I think I've got about five silvers and a gold ring. So, and that was for quite a while. So I'd say she's been worked fairly well done, but yeah. Still lucky to find a few targets. That'll be in a video later on. Perfect, stunning. Beautiful morning. Look at that. Sun's up. We're going to be out of here fairly early, but we're going 
going off to celebrate my mum's birthday this morning. So I'm going to pop into a wee uh, cafe in the middle of Fairley and celebrate her birthday. <laughs> Everybody's still out to it, so I'm going to have to go and wake everyone up. <laughs> so we're off home today. This is the final leg of our, of our big trip. Happy birthday! <laughs> Here's the birthday girl herself. Okay, sweet. Right, we get ourselves sorted and get on the road and head off home.